this is Gigabyte Aero 15 laptop and the keyboard panel is not working so in this video I'm going to show you how to replace the keyboard. There are two kinds of keyboard replacement that you can buy. One of them super expensive which one comes with the actual frame and another one comes without the frame but replacing is very difficult. Okay, so we're going to choose the cheapest way which is without frame one. Alright, so first of all you should have some tools. T6 screwdriver to open the back cover screws and then we do have flat opening tool the metal one and then the plastic one and then we have Phillips screwdriver automatic and manual and the tweezer also does help a lot and the actual automatic Phillips screwdriver and that is the model number which is called Gigabyte L15 and let's show you how the replacement look like so as you can see this keyboard panel comes without frame even without uh, the cable and this is first time I've seen a keyboard panel comes without any flex cable on it all right by the way uh, I wouldn't encourage you to do it yourself if you do have really patient if you love doing things then it's worth it to give it a try by the way this replacement cost about 110 pound and it came from China it took about two weeks to get the delivery from UK all right so first of all we're gonna take out the back cover pull out every single component and then we'll try to cut all the plastic rabbits I will show you in the video in details anyway all right but the first things what you have to care about eh? uh, all the screws comes in different shape different size so make sure you organize it properly otherwise you're going to mess things up okay and also I would suggest you what you can do you can uh, if this is first time you can make record on it if you forget anything you can track back the video and see which point that you lost okay so let's take out all the screws those are same in size so don't worry you can put it together the back cover one and the center one is quite long and this one sometimes doesn't come out so if it doesn't come out don't worry let's take those out and the second thing is disconnect the battery before you touch anything else and you're gonna find a lot of tapes in there so when you disconnect any connector be careful those are very sensitive made from plastic and easy to break All right, so once the motherboard taken out, we can get access to the metal frame, which one covers the actual screwdriver. 
and that is secured with four screws and many plastic rabbits. So make sure you keep those four screws on the side and keep a note. And this is the most uh, difficult part. After removing the speaker and M.2 caddy, we have to peel this off gently. Make sure you don't put too much force, otherwise you're going to rip this off. We need this film protector, otherwise if uh, the motherboard get contacted to this metal, that could be completely damaged. But we have to peel this off, we don't have any choice. And after that, the terrible part, we're going to remove all the plastic rabbits. Now let me show you what is the plastic rabbits is. Those are kind of shouldering the permanent shouldering which one keeps the metal frame and the actual keyboard into the place and keep the alignment correct okay those are very painful I had to use a small carving knife to cut all of them be careful when you do that make sure you do have extra precaution otherwise you're gonna damage your fingers or could have potential you know hazard so be careful do it with your own risk if you do have safety gloves and goggles that would protect you a lot okay and make sure you peel this off to disconnect the actual keyboard connector as i said uh, the actual replacement keyboard doesn't come with any flex so you have to remove the flex from that side and then later on we can remove from the actual keyboard side so let's do that and peel those cloth tape off and we're gonna cut one by one let me show you how I did it it took about 20 minutes believe me or not to cut all of them but I'm gonna fast forward this video because the video is already long I feel kind of boring but I had to show you guys otherwise you don't know what I'm doing so make sure you cut all of them like that as I said be careful and don't cut any sort of cables or any connectors and then we're gonna pull this out and then we put back the new replacement in there after cleaning up the surface and frame and then we'll put the motherboard into the place put all the screws back and then everything should be back to normal
all right so at this point don't forget to put back the four screws three of them silver one of them black okay so the black one goes right at the bottom and rest all of them goes around okay so what happened is all the plastic rabbits which one already we cut it to remove the actual broken part uh, those are not fixable we can't reproduce all those rabbits instead of that we can just put four screws and that one would keep the actual uh, new replacement secure and alignment correct into the place and if you don't put back those four you definitely gonna damage the actual alignment and don't forget to put back these screws after you reconnecting the keyboard flex and then this caddy before you put the speaker into the place and it takes the black screw and now we can put back the speaker quite funny
all right so finally everything is done now we're gonna power this up and check if the keyboard panel is working so this is turning on at the first boot it takes a little bit of time so don't worry positive it took about a minute and it does happen every single time whenever we replace the keyboard this and that you know for the first boot I don't know the password but I'm typing random keys just to see if this is functional I can see everything does work fine and it's pretty good I hope you did enjoy this video still if you do have any question make sure you leave it in the comment section and thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.